So right here, I'm just making the little crucible uh, using the propane tank, uh, just like everybody else does. Uh, I've seen lots of them out there. Um, works pretty good. I just have to put little, two little hooks on the sides. Uh, I'm not doing that in this video. Uh, this little rack here, um, just a piece of scrap we had laying around. I'm going to use it as an insert in the uh, uh, wheel. I'm going to be using a uh, truck wheel that we have uh, that I had made into a little fire pit one time. Um, and this will fit kind of right in the lip and it just uh, keep the uh, crucible thing from tipping over or something if it gets bumped. Um, should hold it pretty good. And I'm just going to you know, cut out a little circle in there, set the tank down inside it. Uh, it'll be sitting on there. It still has a gaps on the side so that we can put wood in there and add additional you know, coals and things. Just got about it. There it goes. Fits just nice. Um, clean it up a little bit, then test it out in there. This is what you'll see. Uh, just sits there inside that little wheel, holds it in. That way, you know, if you do knock it when you put a piece of wood in or something, it doesn't tip over and makes it nice and easy. Uh, right here, just loading it up with a whole bunch of wood to get some uh, coal based in there. Uh, get nice and hot uh, before I put anything on it. So we're just going to let that burn down. Here's the first test um, using it with just a fan. Uh, Blows pretty good air. I uh, got it on high setting. It's just a regular old, you know, box style fan, sort of. Um, it's one of those round ones, so it's a little better than the box ones. It gets hot enough uh, to melt the cans, um, but when we put some of the bigger stuff in, you'll see here shortly that it doesn't quite get hot enough to melt the, uh, you know, heat sinks and some of the thicker aluminum. But um, first try works pretty good. Just need to go ahead and uh, put in the, you know, uh, we have a hole that I drilled in the side of the wheel and we're going to insert a piece of conduit in that and hook up something to to blow the air in probably uh, one of those you know queen bed mattress air pump things for camping um, if that doesn't work then we'll maybe just use a compressor or something uh, anyway uh, i think that the air pump mattress uh, blower will work just fine though seems to work um, on some other videos i've seen and uh, the fan does it it just uh, isn't directed close enough to the flame so I think with a piece of conduit and you know funneling the air right into the wheel uh, make it work pretty good uh, once it gets hot melts the melts the cans pretty quick so uh, seems to be working just fine and now we'll start playing around with it casting some stuff um, ultimate goal is to make a uh, pot not really a pot more of a tray to melt our lead in and uh, put the drippers on uh, for the shot dripper that we're going to make. Um, tried that a few years ago, had it working pretty good, got a little teardrop shape uh, things on it, and that was when we were first starting, it was one of our first projects, but um, I think with an aluminum based pan uh, it'll work a lot better, you get the heat easier and maybe even be able to use a hot plate instead of a propane tank to do it, but um, anyway, uh, works out good, and we'll start melting some stuff up and, and play around with it. Uh, stay tuned for actual video on you know making something out of it so there's some of the heat sinks I'm throwing in that didn't they did eventually melt uh, we ended up actually getting the leaf blower to to make it work though uh, a leaf blower heated that right up and it started melting the heat sinks too um, and some of them are pretty large heat sinks and it just uh, melted it all down into a little goop and uh, you know it seems to work just fine So right here we're just going to do some testing with the uh, fan, uh, turning it up on different speeds, moving it closer, getting it higher, holding it up, all that kind of stuff. Uh, you can see it started to kind of melt on its own there. The heat sinks have dropped down a little bit, and then when you push them down into the liquid, they uh, they get to go. So maybe should have started out with a few more cans since they were small. Um, anyway, but yeah, it really takes off when we get some real oxygen on there with that leaf blower and gets it started melting really good then. So uh, next time, load it up really heavy with uh, all that pallet wood. Yeah, it's free, easy to go. Um, just put more to start with in there and get a bigger coal base first. 
and get our uh, little fan hooked up to it somehow and I think we'll have a, a working little piece and then we'll be able to uh, start doing some castings and stuff with that um, more to come on there uh, but yeah at the end here you'll see a shot from inside where the first batch of heat sinks have melted and then we tossed in two more and then um, I didn't feel like throwing any more wood on so we just kind of left it like that but uh, definitely is working gets hot enough uh, we'll melt it down you know put a few more coals on there and we're good to go and nice fan